In this video, I am going to texture this binder for my Wolfenstein seat, which I modeled this thing uh, in a previous video. I've already UV unwrapped this, and so I'm going to select it and export it and bring it into Substance Painter. Here it is in Substance Painter, and as you can see, I've got some materials already. I've got the binder cover, I've got the pages, and I've got the rings. Now I'm going to bake the mesh maps. I'll add an ambient occlusion channel. Bake mesh maps. I'm going to do this at, I'll do 1024. Let's start with the basic material for the cover. I'm going to delete the default material, smart materials, and I'm going to choose paper. This is a downloaded um, smart material from Substance Share. And this is what we come up with. I'm going to come in and I'm going to delete the folds. And I'm going to delete the dirt spots and leave it like that. All right, so this is similar to the previous book that I did. I'm going to come over to the binder ring. And I'm just going to choose metal. And let's see what we can get. Something like that is okay. You can barely see that. Okay, so let's go back to the cover. And I'm going to add a paint layer. And on that layer, I want to have color and height. I'm going to get rid of roughness, metal, normal, and ambient occlusion. I don't need base color. I'm going to make dark, essentially black. Height, I'm going to lower a little bit and I'm going to look at an orthographic view and I'm going to hide the rings but I'll still get that sort of shadow there make my brush a little smaller I think I'll use a hard brush and we'll try that make it a little smaller and I'm just going to click there bring back the ring and look something like that okay that looks fine let's go on and have a look at the paper I'll delete that and the way I'm going to do the paper I did this before I'm going to search for wood, choose this wood walnut, and we're going to make a few changes here. Uh, first of all, we'll set the rotation to about 90, to, uh, not to about 90, but 290. Let's change the color to a more paperish kind of. I'm going to set the scale in the X to 0 0.18 and I'm going to set this here in the Y to about 100 all right so that just gives the impression of, of paper uh, and we'll leave it at that And now it's just a question of coming back to the cover and doing some designs on this. Okay, so these are holes. And that's cover. I'm going to choose a paint layer and uh, we're going to go for, let's say, color, maybe roughness. Let's use a darkish red color. Let's drag that across. Get that bigger. Kind of like the way it intersects with that. 
Okay. So that's red stripes. I'm going to add another paint layer. And I'm going to go just for color. And I'm going to make this black. And in the alphas, I'm going to search for font. And I'll choose this typewriter font. And here I will write secret in German. And let's try this. Now sometimes I um, add height on here. It, you may or may not like that. Just lower it just a little bit. Whether or not you like that indented like that. Okay, we could try and see what it looks like in there. I don't think it looks good with the with the height in there, but I could try um, getting rid of the height and putting this as uh, you know white. Let's see what that looks like in there. We could do it that way. Let's we'll see. It's for a change. Okay, and that's oh, that's text. We'll do one more, and this one will just be color. And maybe I'll color pick that red. And come up here, circle. This one. That. Okay. Put a circle there. Yeah. And I'll do that uh, typical thing that I did before. Let's get rid of that. And we'll look for something to put inside it. I used this last time instead of the Nazi symbol. Make it a bit smaller and stick that in. I don't know if that looks like a war type thing or if it fits my Wolfenstein scene. Okay, but that could be that could be a binder. Doesn't look overly warish, but <laughs> all right. I'll, call, I'll just call that symbol. And I could do one more a fill layer in a black mask, and change this to like dark, yeah, maybe brownish. Something like that. Maybe just color. Maybe roughness too. Not just color. And using smart masks, try something. Something like that. that same layer no. new layer color dark maybe fingerprint
couple of fingerprints on there and we could have something else on there we'll go for color and roughness on this one any good uh, but all what I'll do is I'm gonna come to my brushes and I'll use a um, what's that look? I'll just use a basic hard brush here I'm just gonna go here like this and then I'll come with the eraser and uh, a dirt brush I'm just going to do a little bit of this here and there. I'm going to see this very well. Also a little bit of blood. Uh, dots. Let's come back to the brush. That looks like blood. All right, so that is that. Let's save that, and we would export that into Blender. Let's export the textures. Cover. Let's find these. And there it is. Binder ring. save that and we'll come back to layout okay my binder is now underneath there and that is an instance so let's just copy that to bring it out. For the moment, I'll put it over here so it's visible. to go into the table but just so that you can see it all right so that's what I have this one I made a little bit dirtier uh, maybe I shouldn't have put the dirt on there let's do one more let's do the document here all right let's export that all right here's my document let's look at it this way I don't need ambient occlusion let's just bake the mesh maps I'll do 1024 that's fine. Okay. For this, I'm going to use Smart Materials Paper again. Drag that in. But I'm going to get rid of... Uh, actually, I'm going to come into the folds. And actually, perpendicular folds. I'm going to get rid of that, I think. Yeah, I'll leave I'll leave the rest of that stuff there. Okay, so that's the paper. I'm gonna create a paint layer. 
and I'm just going to use uh, color. I'm going to switch over to projection and I'm going to bring in a texture that I'm going to use for this. Um, I don't know what size I, uh, I've got for this. Um, so I'm going to just try this one. It might be a little bit too small. I'm going to bring that in as a texture into the current project that I'm working on. All right, and there it is. I'm going to drag that over to the base color. And I'm going to see if I can get this to work. Just like that. Let's try that. I'll increase my brush size. And I'm just going to paint over it. Yeah, that might be a little bit. The resolution of the um, image might not work too well. But let's shut that off and have a look at this. Yeah, it's a little bit, it's a little bit blurry. But we could see. Um, I don't think it'll matter if I do that too much. Just leave it like that without adding any dirt to it and try it. Let's create that material here. I'll call it document. Shift control T. You know, if you get a bigger resolution, uh, it'll be more visible, obviously. That's what I'm coming up with though. Let's just mess around with the, some other lighting to make it a little bit more visible. Let's see what happens if I take that and the 3D cursor there. And delete that one. And take this and just copy it. Set the origin of the 3D cursor. And set the geometry to origin. And um, I'll just stick that in there. All right. Well, anyways, you can work on uh, bigger, bigger resolution stuff for that. Probably I should do some different colors. So what I'll do is I'll just continue to work on this on my own and actually uh, bring all this stuff down to the surface of the desk of the filing cabinets uh, so that they're not just floating in space and uh, that kind of thing. We'll get this to, to hopefully look a little bit more realistic. Uh, and then uh, after I do that, I'm going to move on to finishing up uh, that part there, the glass uh, divider, and I'm done my little scene. All right, so hope you come back for the next part.